People are starting to arrive. I look really beautiful. My paycheck, as if I haven't already been doing that. Is something gonna like blow up next to me? Welcome to Monday. It is about 10.45 now. The only thing I have for school today is a simulation practical going over some lung sound from 1 to 1.45 this afternoon. Did I mention that my my feeling light in the office here was out this morning and so I replaced that. That was fun. <laughs> If you ever wondered what my makeup routine is, it is eyebrows and eyelashes. You know, the eyes are the windows into the soul. I'm doing one and only one school thing today, and for that one thing, I cannot forget my stethoscope. Situated here. I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of myself because I actually drove here without turning on my Google Maps. It is 12.44 now. People are starting to arrive. I've got my stuffy scope. It wasn't so much a practical as it was really just practice. It's actually good when it's cold. that after our simulation practicals we typically have a little take-home quiz so I'm gonna hop in and do that right now well I finished the take-home quiz all right so a little bit of an update if you've been following along I'm having some issues figuring out how to finance my medical education next year I have been denied the grad plus loan and I appealed that decision and submitted a ton of documentation that they requested. And then I got an email today saying that regardless of what I submitted, they've reviewed my appeal and denied it and closed the case. I'm back in this feeling of like, things like this really steal your motivation. I need to have maintained this year, you know? I need to keep studying and passing my classes, but it is so hard because you get stuck in this feeling of, will there be a next year for me? Or is this it? Why should I even continue. I'm doing my very best to try to hold it together right now, just hoping some miracle comes along. We'll see what happens from here. Yay! Maya well, hello, Tuesday at 9.14 a.m. I am heading school I have a radiology lecture from 10 to 11 and then I will head home and then we have finally Justice's GI appointment at is it 2 but we're supposed to check in by about 1 30. In the spirit of like being kind to myself I look really beautiful today and it has nothing to do my hair is a mess I didn't brush it today I did my usual brows and eyelashes but I'm strong I work really hard. I try to be kind, try to be a friend, a good person, a good mother, a good daughter. Maybe I can challenge you to try to do the same. Just go stand in the mirror and look at yourself, but not just the reflection that you see, not just the outward beauty, but all of the qualities that make you you, that radiate gorgeousness. I know there's a gorgeous you. Just take a moment to see that. At 10.54, I am done with my radiology lecture. Still in bed. We're going inside. Well, we just recently got back from the G 
GI specialist, he does not think that she has Hirschsprungs. So he's actually thinking what they call an abdominal migraine. He sent a prescription for actually an antihistamine. It's ciproheptidine. So we'll see how that goes. And he did also order, just in case, he ordered an upper GI to rule out malrotation. It is Wednesday morning, much later than I planned for it to be. I actually don't have like any school school stuff to do today. I just have one Zoom meeting for the school club presidents and vice presidents today and it's at like 5.30. What I'm doing right now is, so Monday I actually went out to a plasma donation center in town to see if I could donate, but as I pulled into the parking lot, it was just complete chaos. There was nowhere to park. There was nowhere for me to even like turn around and get out. So hopefully I can go out there now and it won't be too crazy. Here I go. I did bring my backpack with my laptop and my iPad and my AirPods so that hopefully while I'm actually doing the donation. Hopefully I can do a little bit of studying. I did it. I donated plasma for the very first time and this is apparently my paycheck that I get to take home. I can come back on Friday if I want to make a second donation, which is recommended so that they have enough plasma to you know, actually do something with. That's actually pretty good. It took a long time, I feel like. It's been just shy of two and a half hours now. It's like two hours and 20 something minutes. Luckily, I love to be well hydrated. And so I had actually several people come by as it was going on saying my first cycle. I was producing so much plasma that I was going to be in and out of there really quickly. I, it wasn't going to take very many cycles. Honestly, it was a good experience. Everyone was so friendly and so happy. Thursday morning, 9, 10 o'clock. Oh no, there went my bag. Okay, okay. Getting back on track here. I am heading out to school. I have a pharmacology, clinical neurology, DSP meeting today from 10 to 11. We have a quiz. After the plasma donation yesterday, I'm finally regaining some of my color. I was definitely a little pale. I'm in a little bit of a slump right now as well because I had reached out earlier in the week to my school's financial aid office, letting them know where I'm at with my grad plus loan federal aid application that I was denied and then I appealed. And then I was notified that the appeal was denied and the case was closed. And they got back to me yesterday evening and said, disappointingly, look for scholarships as if I haven't already been doing that and pretty much exhausted it. Unfortunately, scholarships for these types of education just really don't exist unless you're in some very specific pockets. There are some scholarships for like ethnic minorities, which I am not. And then there also, the other thing is there are some scholarships for people who do just like extraordinary amounts of community service, which having a toddler and trying to go to medical school, I don't have time to do that. I do a little bit here and there. I spent a couple hours volunteering with our school doing a food for kids event and I can't be one of those like top community service hour earners. It just isn't going to fit within the responsibilities and commitments that I already have. So that's not really helpful. So I was pretty disappointed in my school's response. I've reached back out to federal student aid asking them if they can give me any more information and if there's anything that they could recommend that I work on perhaps this summer so that maybe I can get the grad plus loan approved over summer and have it in time you know for next school year Welcome back to the humble abode. Before I start like diving into studying today, I need to catch up on some of my video editing because I have been trying to do it on a daily basis just to keep me up to date with it so that like when the weekend comes around, I don't have to sit down and do it for forever. But I haven't edited anything for the last couple days. So I'm gonna do that right now, try to get caught up and then dive into the studying.
Kopi. Hello, howdy. It's Friday morning, 8.55 a.m. I'm going to head out to the Plasma Donation Center again. I don't have any school that I have to go do today. Last time I got really, really drained afterwards. And so this morning when I got up, I made two eggs and drank a ton of my apple juice infused water. Wish me luck. So it's 10.40 and I'm heading home. And they got me set up. The machine was running and it had just started to pull some of the plasma off. And the plasma phoresis machine just like went haywire. It started screeching and like there was smoke coming out of it. It was actually really scary. I was like, oh my gosh, is something gonna like blow up next to me? They came over, they disconnected it. Luckily, because it had just pulled, you know, a full cycle of blood. And so they were able to get that returned to me with some saline. And they took, you know, probably that much plasma and then they said you can go home that's it we're not gonna like restart it so you get full pay for today and that's it so <laughs> I feel kind of bad that like I'm getting paid for not really donating a whole lot of plasma it was just a little bit but I guess that's what happens I can try again next week I am so happy to say that I just spent the last two hours and 23, 24 minutes studying, but also walking. So I got a little over seven miles in. I was walking at a moderate pace today. I got a ton done. So this week I've been talking a bit about plasma donation and the fact that I did that for the very first time this week. So I thought I might just share the payment schedule of my center. Now keep in mind, I think every center kind of like sets their own payments and they change from month to month because they do different bonuses. This is the little paper that tells you what you earn for each donation. Let's break this down. It's $50 for each donation. You can donate twice in a seven day period, $50 each time. Every time you have a second donation, you also get a $50 bonus for coming back twice because they like you to come back twice so they have enough plasma to actually do things with. So for every second donation, you automatically get a $50 bonus. And then for May, they have done additional bonuses for the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th visits. Those are 30, 40, 60, and $80 bonuses. On top of this, their May special thingy is that brand new donors also get $150 instead of the 50 for each of their first four visits. Something to think about. It's actually really cool how we use people's plasma to make drugs. I mean, we can all spare some plasma. I'm gonna close up in here and head downstairs. I'm in the iPad. You're in the iPad? <laughs> Before you go, I just want to remind you that if this mom can do it, I know that you can too. Thank you for supporting us by watching this video. Don't forget that by subscribing to our channel, it is you who help us to grow.